Hey y'all, it's Ashley from Serendipity Twin Flames Tarot. Hope you guys are doing well. I'm coming to you for an energy update. We're going to see what's going on for you guys on the Twin Flame journey. This is for all zodiac signs. As you know, I do zodiac specific Twin Flame readings now as well. Um, but this is for all y'all, everybody, okay? So we're going to see what's happening. Um, it won't resonate for everyone, right? Take what resonates, leave the rest. Um, also, check out my other channel called Serendipity Tarot. I do love readings for all the zodiacs. So check out the sign that you're dealing with, um, your twin, as well as your sign. Um, if you want a personal love reading, check me out. The link is in the description box. You can also head right over to Etsy, favorite my shop. You can buy a personal reading there, one of my oracle decks, spiritual jewelry, all that. Um, connect with me on Instagram, Facebook. All right. All right. So let's see. We're going to start off. Um, this is one of my newer uh, Oracle cards. I mean, not my Oracle card, but this is one I just got in the mail. It's called Gaia Oracle. I don't know if you guys have heard it. Um, let's see. Let's see what messages that we have for you guys. Okay. For my twin flames, my twins. Oops. If this resonates, like, share, comment, and subscribe. I appreciate it greatly. Oops. Okay. What's going on with my twins out there? What is the current energy, please? All right, so we got the dream coming out. The dream and thinking of you. So it says um, something is revealed, insight, okay, breakthrough. So some of you guys, you're getting some kind of breakthrough through your dreams, okay? There's something that could be being relayed to you or revealed in the dream state. I feel right now there's a lot of thinking, overthinking, okay? Um, some of you guys are not even conscious that you're thinking. I'm, I'm getting like you're daydreaming during the day, okay, about the situation, about your person, what happened, but I feel like you guys could be getting some information. There could be some signs and synchronicities coming toward you guys. Um, that's going to bring some kind of breakthrough. It's going to bring some kind of clarity. Something here could be illuminated here. Okay. We have thinking of you. Okay. Oh, we got serendipity here. A loving thought serendipity. So I feel a lot of you guys, um, you've gone through perhaps a lot of hurt. Okay. But we got the sun. There's some kind of clarity. There's some something being illuminated. The sun also brings healing. Um, and I feel like there's something good that could be coming out of the situation here or out of something here that was very very um dark and heavy and and just really unburdensome in your life okay so you'd be surprised how things work out in a very mysterious way um let's see what else we have for you guys a hidden gift okay a hidden gift and we have um sacred journey yeah sacred journey for sure um a hidden gift it says sadness an ending a new beginning so yeah that's what i'm seeing it's kind of like how seren you know got the serendipity card this is like you know you may not see something here it's like a hidden blessing right it, it's something right now you may feel like i'm stuck I, I don't see what good why did i have to go through this you don't see what the lesson was um you're feeling hopeless you're feeling down and feeling just depleted but what i'm seeing is that there's something coming to you that could be a blessing in disguise here okay so right now you may be in a period of sadness and feeling at a lack okay of some kind of ending of separation between you and your twin but it's you know it's preparing you for something there's something coming your way um there is some kind of new breakthrough a new beginning right um so let's see what else we have for you guys um sacred journey okay life cycles family transformation there's something about family i'm getting that Maybe you guys are very family oriented, okay, but there's a big, big change or breakthrough. Um, but Spirit is also telling me to really close in your connection with your with the supportive people around you. It could be your family, it could be your friends, extended family. But I'm seeing that keep your family close. Okay, keep your family close. So you may have to work on some of your connections or people that you distance yourself from. There's a lot of love around it because I'm seeing there's a tree. You know, we got the tree, and the tree is all about it's growth, it's stability, it's new, it's it's new beginnings, okay, like the tree of life, so um, yeah, you guys have gone through um, some painful long cycles, but I feel like there's a lot of change coming in with the transformation energy um, and family, maybe right now you guys are working on um, strengthening the ties with your family, building your family, okay, so let's see, I'm gonna get the island time wellness, what's going on my twins out there, any messages? All right, so we have I like you, okay? 
um, romance is blooming, fun, flirting, once a date. So I feel like, you know, whoever you're dealing with, I'm getting that they were could have been very flirtatious, okay? I'm really picking up your person's energy. I feel like you're dealing with someone who doesn't ever close the loop on things. They kind of jump into the next connection. And I feel like it's, it's very hurtful. You're dealing with someone who kind of just, I'm getting a very, very flirtatious person. Um, likes to be around a lot of people. I feel like they certainly kind of gave you mixed messages, okay? You thought this person was really into you, your twin. And all of a sudden, I'm getting like, they were on to someone else. They were latching on to someone else. They were showing love and affection and um, to someone else. So I do feel like, you know, whoever you're dealing with, they could have been dating multiple people at the same time. And that's something that you may have found out. It could have been hidden from you, okay? We also have, yeah, healthy choices. You guys are now focusing on doing things that's best for you, okay? Changing your life, making um, healthy decisions, being very uh, choosy as to who you keep around your energy. Maybe you guys are very much your empaths or you're very sensitive and I'm getting a lot of you guys have, have allowed people to, I'm getting take your energy, um, steal your happiness and your joy. Okay. We have energy vampires. They are real. Okay. So I feel like right now you guys are really trying to make healthier choices. Um, it could be regarding, uh, your eating habits, um, physically being active and fit, but also just about protecting your energy, all right? Making sure that you are doing what you need to do to stay happy in that peaceful mindset. All right, so we also have the snake. Ooh, okay. So there could have been a snake lurking in the environment. Some of you guys, I'm getting a karmic, okay? I feel like your twin could have been dealing with someone who was a snake, someone who couldn't be trusted, someone who you felt you you couldn't look at and honestly like they had ill intentions towards you okay maybe you didn't know each other very well but i'm getting it's like the other woman right we have someone who was always looking over you always had to look over your shoulder you always felt like someone was there okay so some of you guys you found out about a karmic okay you were put in competition with someone else i'm getting another woman for some of you guys it could have been also you know it could be another man take it how it resonates but i feel like this is someone who was um very clever i feel like as soon as something went down with you and your twin or as soon as you guys separated this person was so quick to come into your person's life they were so quick to snatch your person up so i feel like they were always lurking they were always like two steps behind okay they were like literally waiting for their opportunity to come right in so you're dealing with someone who's very very sneaky and i'm getting a, like your person could have always had this person in their environment never really truly broke it off with this karmic okay i'm getting this snake could have been someone that they had um past relations with they uh dated maybe in the past but called them just a friend okay i'm getting like a friend and this snake was always around even when you guys were together that's what i'm seeing for some of you guys and i'm getting like there was competition a lot of you guys they weren't able your person your twin wasn't able to move forward with you because there was always someone else lurking in the environment someone else always trying to get your twin's attention so i feel like that person is ultimately the, the person who could have caused this connection to go down a different a different way okay i'm getting your person could have been very um indecisive okay maybe they didn't make a good choice as to rather uh, make a good choice as to um who to pick i'm getting they could have had options here okay because we got someone who's very flirtatious so i do feel some of you guys your twin went to the snake okay we have the lightning energy. Yeah, this was this was very big. This was a betrayal of some sort. Some of you guys, it, there was a very big, abrupt ending between you and your twin. This person took you by surprise. It came out of nowhere. I feel like you guys were really deeply betrayed by this person. It was shocking. Some of you guys, you had no idea that... You had no idea that first your person was dealing with other people. I feel like you could have definitely thought that you guys were mutually like exclusive with each other. But something happened very, I'm um, getting like overnight. All of a sudden, something came down. Something just was destroyed. Your person could have all of a sudden abandoned this connection, neglected you. Um, but something was very, very um, shocking. Okay, but I feel like it also brought some kind of big revelation to you. We got the epiphany cards here. So it could have brought forth a big transformation within you. Okay, you guys could have certainly, um, you know, now you're very much spiritually awoken and connected to yourself. So I feel like this was necessary. Okay, this ending, this breakup, certainly it, it was very difficult to go through. We have the dragonfly, okay? It says finding out, things coming to light, yeah, adapting. So this person forced you to just adapt, okay? I'm getting like you guys, you guys went through something that was very, very painful. And I'm seeing that you had no 
choice but to move on, right? But to heal, but to overcome some kind of um, sabotage, some kind of betrayal here. So I feel like, you know, something came to light. There was some kind of um, maybe secret that was revealed. Some of you guys, you found out about the third party. You found out, oh, this person certainly abandoned you and then you found out about the third party and then you put the two together. Oh, okay, that's why. That's what I'm seeing here. So something, you, you connected the dots here. We also have healing heart. So that's what you guys are doing. You're focusing on your healing. Okay, you're freeing yourself from some kind of toxicity. That's what I'm that's what I'm seeing. That's why you guys right now you're making healthier choices because a lot of you guys, you have to distance yourself from this your person right now because there's a lot of low vibration, a lot of toxic energy. This person's drama. Whoever you're dealing with, they they don't make good decisions about anything. And I'm getting like they don't really close they don't really close the loop on their past situations or relationships okay they kind of keep repeating the same thing over and over and over so right now you guys are choosing to heal you're choosing to disconnect from your twin to heal your own heart okay to be free from this toxic energy because it isn't serving you any good um we got the clock energy okay so there's definitely a need for um again healing time to heal progress but there's progress being made so maybe you guys have been in separation for some time, but what I'm seeing is that your person needs time to get their life together. They need time to figure out what they want. Um, they need time to perhaps close the loop on other karmic uh, situations and relationships, okay? Because I'm seeing your person, they still, they're still making the, the same bad mis decisions and mistakes here over and over and over. So that is what I'm seeing for you guys. Let's get to the sacred signs and symbols. This is one of my Oracle decks on my Etsy shop. Okay, clear messages for my twins. All right, we got the smoke grenade. Yeah, there was a sabotage. Your twin sabotaged his connection. Something happened very, very sudden, abruptly. You got something that was explosive. It caused a lot of unsettling energy, a lot of smoke. And you guys are like literally still trying to push through it. I'm getting like you guys are still kind of trying to clear the smoke, trying to understand what the hell happened because you were blindsided by this. Okay, this person planted a literally a bomb here and it threw you for a loophole. We got tunnel. Yeah, I feel a lot of you guys are dealing with someone who has tunnel vision. Okay, they're not really open-minded. They don't see things the way you see it. You guys have different perspectives, and that could have been a reason why you guys didn't get along, or there could have been some issues here with the, with the way you looked at things. Right now, you may be, like, bumping heads as well because I feel like this person is very narrow-minded, okay? They don't, they don't see things through the same pair of lens that you do. All right, we got the race car energy. So, yeah, your person was reckless, reckless as hell. Very impulsive. You could have been dealing with someone who just acts, doesn't think before they act. They just jump into things. They jump from one connection to the other, right? They don't close it. They, I'm getting messy. This person's messy as hell, okay? They don't, they don't bother to um, finish what they start. This is someone who starts things. They jump into things very passionately, but they don't finish things, and that's the problem. You're dealing with someone who's very immature, Okay, very young-minded. This could be a, like a grown person, but they act very immature. They make bad decisions as if they don't got ahead of themselves. So very wild, immature. They make bad decisions. They just jump into things. Whew. Wow, this person needs some work. We got the ball of yarn. So yeah, this was there was a lot of complication. Um, I'm also getting like... They kept you, they strung you along, okay? I feel like you didn't know where this was going. You didn't know what their intentions were. And I feel like a lot of you guys, you just you just went with the flow of things. Thinking that, oh yeah, we're good. We're gonna be fine. We're gonna be, you know, in a committed partnership eventually. We're gonna be married eventually. But I'm feeling like they just kept you there. They kept you within an arm's length, but they never really gave you what you needed. Okay, so things were very uncom very complicated. And I feel soon something became, something was unraveled. Something here started being revealed to you, right? We got something being revealed. Some of you guys, you're getting answers in a dream state. You're getting answers about what really happened in this connection, why you guys went separate ways. It's something coming to you, this insight here, right? About what really happened. So let me see. I'm gonna get some um, tarot here. 
And then I'm going to finish off with some healing, uh, crystal, uh, crystal healing messages, okay? All right, what do we need to know? What's going on with my twins out there? What, what do they need to know right now? The messages here. So, yeah, they got the justice in reverse. Some of you guys are done with the Libra, but there was a lot of injustices here. This person didn't treat you right. They disrespected you. I'm getting like they just literally went behind your, behind your back and did whatever they want. A lot of disrespect, but they also let other people disrespect you. Most again, they probably talked bad about you behind your back or to other people, to family, to friends. Made it seem like, oh, you were the, you were the crazy person. So this person was really... They were very distorted. They had a really strange way of thinking, but they were very um, dishonest with you as well, okay? With that justice in reverse, there, there could have been a legal situation between you guys. Could have been something regarding custody as well. King of Cups. Yeah, I feel like a lot of you guys, you gave everything to your, to your person. You were loyal. You were giving. You were patient. You were kind. You were understanding. But I feel like this person, they didn't have a good control of their emotions, Okay, they didn't really know what they wanted. I feel like a lot of you guys, you were planting seeds with this person. You wanted growth. You wanted stability. You were actually invested, okay? Some of you guys, you you had, you had, were expecting a child or maybe you have a child with your person. I'm feeling like the Seven of Pentacles is really about, it's really about wanting a future here and wanting something solid. And that's what you guys went into this connection wanting. And I feel with your person, now they're thinking about what they could have done differently, okay? The Seven of Pentacles is reflecting, taking stock of the past. Let's look what else we, what else we need to know. Yeah, the Four of Swords is here. So there's a lot of stress right now in your person's life, but I think that this is stress that they caused themselves, okay? And I feel like right now your person's lost, that the Knight of Pentacles came out. I feel like they're not able to come towards you right now at this time because they're kind of taking a break. This is someone who has a lot of conflict in their life. Okay, this is conflict that they literally, they get themselves involved in. They had a choice. And so they, they attract a lot of drama, a lot of low vibrational energy. And what I'm seeing is that your person lacks, lacks stability in their life. They make things very complicated. I'm also seeing that they may be struggling on coming towards you for some reason. Yeah, I'm getting they want to communicate. But this is someone who hasn't taken action yet. But they're trying to figure out, well, how, what do I say? How do I go about saying it? This person doesn't know how to talk to you because there were so many imbalances in the past. They don't even know how to start. Yeah. There's something about a commitment this person did injustice to you. So they could have like stepped out of a commitment with you. They could have cheated. They could have lied. Okay. Um, with this Herophon card, I feel like there was some kind of, you could have been dealing with someone who was non-committal. Okay. Or they had some serious commitment issues. Maybe you guys didn't have a commitment yet because this person couldn't commit at the time okay we also have the two of wands yeah this person was indecisive as to who they wanted to give their love to okay there's something about your person's their love was going in two different directions they didn't give you their full cup because there was someone else still around there was someone else still lurking in the environment still someone else that was within a reach okay and this person couldn't give you their all because well they were confused they had a lot of feelings, but they were very confused. So, yeah, what I'm seeing is the Three of Swords. It caused you a lot of unnecessary hurt, but look at that. The Three of Swords is, is about healing in the reverse, right? It's letting go. Because you guys have been waiting for too long. The clock is here, right? You guys have been waiting for this person to do the right thing. Been waiting for this person to right their wrongs, to be honest with themselves. And they have not. So what I'm seeing is that you guys are taking your power back because there, something has not been able to come through for you with regard to this person so what do you do you heal your heart you move on right you adapt we got the dragonfly this is about adapting to change to the to the environment that you're being um uh you are in essentially right it, you essentially you're deciding you know what i'm going to just move on there's nothing i can do about it i can't change this person i can't make them commit i can't make them be honest I feel like a lot of you guys are dealing with someone who's very, very dishonest, lies a lot, okay? But you guys, you are freeing yourself from that toxic energy and you're healing, you're letting go. And that, and it's the time to let go because this has been a never-ending cycle, okay? So that's what I'm seeing for you guys. I'm going to get some healing messages because this reading was very heavy. It was heavy for me too, channeling it, okay? Whew. Okay. What messages do we have for my twins out there? What 
We got the diamond. Value your self-worth. So spirit wants you to know that you are worth it. You're more than worth it. You're worthy of love. You bring a lot to the table. Know your divine power and step into that divine power. Okay, so it says you are God's precious gem. What are the messages we have for my twins out there? Healing messages. Titanium rainbow quartz. It says um, there are many layers and dimensions to the situation or person you're asking about. So yeah, I feel like this is just too complicated. That's what that's what that ball of yarn is. It's just it, there's just too much too much complication layers dimensions right what does that mean to you guys it's about it's just literally it's just too much to the story you can't even like explain everything that this person did there's just too much there's too i'm getting a lot of history here between you and your person okay it's like been built on like this is like betrayal on top of betrayal on top of dishonesty on top of lies on top of like just a lot of issues this just this didn't happen overnight your person has a lot of work to do. They have a lot of work to do. They're not there yet. Um, on a kite, okay, it says, un answered prayers. All your great work has opened the door for divine solutions and support. So spirit is telling you that you're being supported, okay? Um, whether you are, you know, the divine masculine, divine feminine, it says there's some prayers here that are being answered, okay? You're going, you're really stepping into, again, your divine power here. And everything that you've been doing, you've been working really hard to heal, to let go, to um, come to terms with what happened. And it's now opening up a door for you, okay? And you're being supported. There's finally um, resolution here. There's some kind of resolution of a situation here, a breakthrough, one more okay we have tiger's eye tiger's eye self-confidence through god confidence okay believe in yourself by believing in god's work or the universe's work through you so you know know that again you're protected but it's also a lot going on behind the scenes to help you to guide you to move you forward um and to propel you to get you out of this stuck energy to get you out of this um this energy that's been weighing you down okay so that is what i have for you guys please be please be sure to like share comment and subscribe I'm going to continue with your um, Zodiac sign Pacific Twin Flame readings, okay? So do check out your sun, your moon, your rising, and your Venus. Go ahead and check them all out. I appreciate your love and support, guys. All right, I'm sending you my love and my blessings. Have a great week. Take care.